What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 14.5 beta 7 to register developers and soon to public beta testers. And this comes exactly a week after the release of beta 6. Now, in addition to iOS, we also got iPadOS 14.5 beta 7, watchOS 7.4 beta 7, macOS Big Sur 11.3 beta 7, and tvOS 14.5 beta 7 but of course in this video we're talking all about ios and ipad os 14.5 beta 7 and when the heck we're getting the final version of 14.5 so before we talk about all of that let's go ahead and take a look at the size of this update so you can see here it came in at 153.8 megabytes on my iphone 12 so pretty small update as expected for a seventh beta and if we go ahead to our settings and check out the build number if we go to general about 14.5 you can see the build number there is 18E5198A. So yes, once again, we have another A build. So pretty crazy. We've had like, what, four A builds in a row now, an A at the end of the build number there. But if we go down a little bit to the modem firmware, you can see the modem firmware is at 1.62.11 here on this version. So yeah, beta seven, pretty big surprise. I mean, I think most people, myself included, we're expecting an RC release today. But once again, I will talk to you guys more about the release dates and what we can expect next near the end of this video. But let's first talk about what's new here in this update. And given the fact that this is a seventh beta, it's obviously going to be mainly bug fixes. I mean, beta six, we did get two major new features. So I would expect beta seven to kind of fix up any bugs and any kind of issues that were you know, going on with those two major new features. So the biggest new feature, of course, was inside of the settings and then into battery and battery health. For the iPhone 11 series, there was the battery recalibration tool, which basically is a bug fix for iPhone 11 series, where you know now in iOS 14.5, starting with beta six, your battery will recalibrate and show you the proper maximum capacity left. So before it would show incorrect values there, so this new tool is aiming to fix that. So I would imagine that beta seven fixes up any type of bugs that were possibly going on with that major new feature, because that is a pretty important feature and seems like something that would need a little bit more testing than just one beta. So that, and then also the new Siri voices. So if we go to our settings and then go down to Siri, Siri and search right here, and then into Siri voice, you can see we do have two new voices here. Of course, a lot of the verbiage has changed here as well in beta six, but nothing has changed in beta seven as far as you know anything you can visually see. But voice two and three are brand new, starting with beta six. And I would imagine that beta seven did fix the voices a little bit. And I did actually notice a change in voice three based on something I said in my video on beta six. So it had like a weird voice to it. Of course, this is all run via AI. So I would expect this to continuously get improved, but beta seven does fix some bugs and kind of just it's learning more with these new voices here in iOS 14.5. So beta seven does kind of fix up some things that were going wrong in beta six when it comes to the new Siri voices. But aside from fixing up any bugs from those two major new features in beta six, I would not expect anything else new here in beta seven. I've not found anything. I did go throughout the settings and everywhere in the OS and I did not find anything else new in this update. And that's kind of expected for a seventh beta. I mean, it's not every day you see a seventh beta for a firmware that's not like a 0, .0 like a 13.0, 14.0, or anything like that. It's very rare to get seven plus betas on any version that's not a major iOS release. So pretty surprising once again, but also I did wanna talk about something else kind of surprising, and that's the Apple announced third-party device support for their Find My network. So now if you go into the Find My application, we have the items tab down here, and this items tab is now available on all devices on iOS 14.3 and above. So you no longer need a more recent iOS version. This now popped up over the air inside of the Find My application for all devices on 14.3 and above. So that was a big, new release from Apple today and kind of a surprising one given the fact that we were expecting AirTags to possibly be released this month. But now that's looking a little unlikely, especially after reading this little excerpt here from Apple on their press release today. So it says today, Apple is also announcing a draft specification for chipset manufacturers that will be released later this spring. With this, third-party device makers will be able to take advantage of ultra-wideband technology in U1-enabled Apple devices, creating a more precise, directionally aware experience when nearby. 
So I think that this basically confirms that we are not getting air tags in April, but rather in late spring, which would line up with WWDC. So now I'm expecting to see the air tags at the Worldwide Developers Conference because I don't think Apple wants another company to launch a U1 tracker before them. And you know, with this release, with Apple actually, you know, launching this today, I would think that you know the air tags, this would get announced alongside the air tag. So the release of this today, you know, this being a press release tells me that the air tags are not coming in April. I mean, that's just my guess. I mean, I don't think it makes any sense to do that if air tags are coming next week or the week after. I mean, not, why not just wait a couple of weeks if that were the case? So I think this pretty much confirms that the air tags are coming in later this spring, as Apple says, which would line up with the Worldwide Developers Conference in June. Another pretty interesting move from Apple recently was the update to the Apple Music for Artists application. So as you can see here, this new application, which is straight from Apple, this is for you know artists who have their music inside of Apple Music and things like that, this icon actually got updated and some people are speculating that this could be a preview of what we might be expecting in ios 15. so some people are speculating that this might be a preview as to what the icons in ios 15 might look like so that's the design that some people are thinking that it could be now me personally I don't think so. I mean, I think that Apple wouldn't really do something like this ahead of iOS 15. I mean, this is something pretty public and, and you know, pretty easy to spot. Then again, I mean, it could be, but me personally, I don't think it has anything to do with what the iOS 15 icons could look like. But of course, it's fun to kind of speculate and get excited for iOS 15. So that was another thing that was kind of making its rounds the other day that I wanted to mention in this video. But as far as 14.5 beta 7, there's really nothing else going on. I mean, like I said, it's pretty much a bug fix update, pretty much just patching up the two main features from beta 6, which were the new Siri voices and that new battery recalibration tool for the iPhone 11 series. But aside from that, I've not noticed anything else new besides the build number pretty much. Now, with that being said, there is actually a bug fix in this update. So in beta 6, I had this consistently. So I would move applications on the home screen, I would move them around, and then I would you know swipe up to be done with it and the done button would be stuck up in the status bar forever i mean it would just be stuck up there i would lock my device unlock it it would still be there it wouldn't happen in apps but when i went back to the home screen that little done button would still remain stuck up in the top and now with beta 7 i tried it numerous times to reproduce that and i was not able to so i'm pretty sure that beta 7 did fix that bug where done would stay up in the top right hand corner and then also the infamous music bug where when you shuffle on an album or a playlist and then you go to the queue right here the top song would not be able to be moved that for sure has been fixed i believe in beta 6 but if anything beta 7 confirms that that has been fixed now some people were reporting that it still happened in beta 6 so beta 7 could be the final you know fix for that bug and that was something really annoying in apple music but it appears that is also fixed now as far as remaining bugs that are still not fixed here in beta 7 the first one is obvious green tent we still do not see anything from apple on green tent so if you were having issues with that on the iphone 12 series i would not expect a fix here in beta 7. also the loud notifications i tested that once again and the notifications are still inconsistent with their sound sometimes so it'll start off real low then it'll go real high it's just very inconsistent notification sounds and then also one thing i realized on beta 6 which is most likely not fixed here in beta 7 but i will test it out is that actually i'll test it out live right here is that when you airplay to a home pod the music controls are just extremely slow and extremely laggy so if i were to switch this over to my office right here and first of all it switches pretty quickly but if you start playing and you go to the next song you can see how it's starting to lag you can see sometimes it lags there if i press next it just lags a little bit and then also in the queue it's very laggy as well so like if i turned on the autoplay right there sometimes when i press this it's just very look at that so it's very laggy when i press and unpress any of these buttons here when air playing to a home pod so when i turn something on as you can see there i'm trying to turn these on but it's just very laggy and this is how it's been the entire time on 14.5 so i really hope that gets fixed because it really ruins the experience for me when air playing to a home pod which i do every single day so i definitely notice it and there's just a lot of lag here in the now playing screen which is super annoying and as you can see there it's still present here in beta 7 so hopefully apple fixes that sometime very soon and if not maybe it'll take ios 15 
to fix that. Now, as far as the performance goes, compared to beta 6, I haven't noticed any difference, but you know, going from previous betas to beta 6 or beta 7, you will notice an improvement in the speed. And overall, this thing is pretty smooth. I mean, beta 7, beta 6 is really smooth, so I would expect the same from beta 7. Now, if we go into the Geekbench scores here, you can see the score I got right up there. So that was on you know, at 1338, so at 138. I did that right there. We got a 1591 on the single core and a 4154 on the multi core. So you can see higher multi core, slightly lower single core. Uh, actually, it's the same right there as beta six on the single core, but the multi core is higher. So according to Geekbench, it could be a little bit faster than beta six, but I would not expect a huge difference going from one beta to another and then in terms of battery life battery life was actually really good on beta 6 and i've been noticing an improvement you know pretty much every two betas or so sometimes we had a little you know step back like in beta 4 it was a little bit worse but ever since beta 4 battery life has been great and it's pretty much on par with the last public release now like 14.4 14.4.2 Pretty much on par with that i mean not a major difference in battery life going from the public release to one of these later betas here in 14.5 which is always nice so now let's talk about what all of you guys are thinking so let's go ahead and go into our calendar here and talk about when we can expect to see ios 14.5 rc and then the final release so today is april 7th that is a wednesday now since this is a wednesday there is still a possibility of getting ios 14.5 rc the release candidate previously known as the GM build on Friday, April 9th. So that is still a possibility. There's been multiple times where Apple has released a GM or an RC on a Friday. So I would say that we could see the RC as early as Friday, April 9th. Now that is a possibility, but if we don't get it, then I would expect it next week, most likely early on in the week. And if that were the case, then we will probably see iOS 14.5 released to the public on possibly the 20th. Now there is also the possibility of seeing a public release next week as well if we got the rc early on in the week like on a monday most likely then we could see an ios 14.5 official release later in the week although apple does usually like releasing official releases like the software the public versions on tuesdays they've done that pretty consistently so it's really hard to say right now i mean apple just continues to throw curveballs but once again, I could see an RC coming as early as Friday, if not early next week, with a 14.5 final possibly coming later next week, likely on Wednesday or Thursday at the latest. It will definitely not come on a Friday, I don't think. And then if not, then we could see 14.5 final at the latest on the week of the 19th, possibly on the 20th, 420 right there. So it's really hard to say right now. Again, Apple throws a ton of curveballs our way, and this seventh beta, on the seventh is no different and really not too unexpected i mean at this point nothing is unexpected from apple because as i've continued to say for the past year or two apple is just extremely extremely not i wouldn't want to say inconsistent but extremely hard to predict when they're going to release their software it started really with ios 14 it wasn't really this unpredictable with ios 13 but ios 14 is a whole nother beast when it comes to predicting what apple is going to do but anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this video as always if you did i would appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up and as always if you want to see more ios 14 updates and then ios 15 updates as well make sure you hit that subscribe button down below but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon